Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Divine Oracle by Divine Visions. I'm going to bring in the gorgeous Twin Flame Guardian Angel cards by Angali. And I'm going to bring in the Twin Flame Goddess cards by Angali as well. But before I shuffle, I just want to share another Ascension symptom, something that guided me to... And it's about constipation. So we spoke not long ago about the stomach and cramps and how we are releasing and purging. And I really feel that November is a time of purging. It's a time of purification, a time of cleansing. You're going to feel renewed. There's a lot of renewal energy coming in in November. And it really is about releasing our ways of thinking, our patterns and things that need to go. Things that need to go, need to go, including anything that's built up in the body. Now, we spoke earlier in the week and we spoke about the body changing. You know, I did a reading last week about going the toilet. You know, if you were on the toilet, maybe if you got diarrhea or things were a bit looser down there, you may find now things are getting a bit more, you know, stable. You know, things are feeling a bit more in your body. Maybe you're having you know, more regular movements, or you may feel that things are a bit stuck. And if they are, if you've gone kind of from one extreme to the other, the angels are asking you to let go and breathe and know that you're okay and you are safe. Because whenever we are constipated, we have a fear of letting go. We're in constant control. And at this time of the year, we can worry about control because we may be trying to control so many things. We may have things we're trying to control at work, our schedules. We may be trying to control our finances better. We may be thinking about the holidays approaching. So the angels are asking you to trust the flow of your life. And when you do that, things begin to regulate again. Things begin to happen again. So you can affirm there is always a plan. So if you feel things are a bit blocked right now or stuck, whether that's in your body or in your journey, Maybe you're blocked by your twin or you feel there's a block there or there's some kind of stuck or stagnant energy. The best affirmation you can use is there is always a plan. There is always a plan. I am safe. Everything is working out for me. But today they want you to affirm there is always a plan. So let's connect then and see what's going on. Now, this card is actually trying to get my attention at the bottom of the deck and We've got migraines. So if you're also having any headaches, if you're having head pressure or if you're having any migraines or head pain, any unbearable pain, it can be caused by fear around separation. The way forward, if you're having headaches or migraines in any way or any head pressure, tension or struggle is breath work. Go in nature, meditate or even go to sleep and have a little cat nap because it will reset things. Just like when you restore your settings on your phone or maybe you update your computer and restart it, when it's restarted, it works better. So if you're having any migraines, and that card was really grabbing my attention, so I feel, feel people may be either having stomach pains or headaches or maybe you're having both, but you're okay. So you can affirm everything is working out for me and I am safe. So let's shuffle and see what we need to know. So the energy around the divine feminine coming out straight away there. The energy around the divine masculines today jump straight on the floor. The energy around the divine masculines. The energy around the journey itself. Forgive me, <clears throat> a little bit of a block here today. So I definitely feel there is a block being lifted or you're being guided to release a block in some way. And I feel this could definitely be affecting the stomach area, the digestive system, and you've been asked to affirm everything is working out beautifully for me. So let's bring in some angel guidance from heaven for the feminine today. Some angel guidance for the feminine today. There we go. Some angel guidance for the masculine. And they are giving me as well feeling out of breath. If you're feeling out of breath, just breathe. Okay, just breathe, relax, let go and know that you are safe. Some energy for the journey. So we've got those cards there for the masculine's. And this is for the journey itself. And then we're going to bring in the Twin Flame Goddess cards. So what's the energy, please, angels, around the Divine Feminines today? Jumping straight out, one card. The energy around the Divine Masculine, again, one card. And the energy around the journey today. Yeah, they're definitely giving me a block today. I'm feeling a block in the throat chakra. So I'm definitely feeling blocks are affecting the physical self. And this could be a block 
Maybe you're blocked by your twin, as I said, or there could be a delay in communication right now for some other reason, or there could just feel like there's some stuck energy. It will be released. Do not fear. Tomorrow is a new day. So let's begin with the masculine. Yeah, we've got the Taurus energy coming in for the masculine. Now, they are showing you right now they want to take control. You know, when we connect with Taurus, we say the masculines are going to take the bull by the horns. They're going to get something done. They are determined to get this done. Why? Because they're loyal to you. They're grounding themselves right now. They're looking at their life. They are paying attention to what's going on around them. And when they do this, they need compassion, divine feminine, because when they're doing this, they are changing things and they are processing and planning. So they can pull away to do that. Now, also, we've got the energy of Taurus as in between now and April. So you've got another timeline there for some of the masculines. It's going to happen quickly for some. It's going to take a bit longer. But I definitely feel the energy between now and April as things shifting ahead. It's like your masculine is saying to you today, I am grounded, I'm determined and loyal. And I am determined to be loyal to you and ground myself and make this real between now and April. So try and have compassion. You know, they feel it in their heart space. They miss you. He's holding his heart. You know, this angel here is holding the heart. We urge you to be compassionate towards yourself. So the masculines need to give themselves a little break here and be kinder and more gentle to themselves. And we urge you, divine feminine, to be more com compassionate towards your divine masculine at this time because you're both doing your best. You're both doing your best at any given moment. Choose compassion. And you may not feel like they are doing their best, but that's because you're viewing it from your own perception. When you see it in a higher way, you realize they are doing the best they can. And they are actually sending you a 222. Now, when you see 222 on the clock, and I spoke about this right at the beginning of the year, and I spoke about this the other day. If you're seeing 222, that's actually your masculine saying to you, I love you. Your masculine is coming to you today and saying, no matter what's going on, no matter what the situation is, I love you. And when you see the angel number 222, this is a reminder for you to have faith. It's the universe saying to you, I've got your back. It's a number of universal power to trust in your connection with the divine and your twin because everything is working out beautifully. Everything is unfolding as it should. And what did we say we should affirm today? Affirm there is always a plan. Affirm everything is working out for me. Trust the flow of your life and it will get better. And the masculine is gaining courage today. It takes courage to follow your heart and do what you know is true. They give me the block. <clears throat> so the masculines are gaining courage to be able to follow their heart and reach out to you and tell you what they know is true. Tell you what they want to do. They are receiving courage right now to be brave. They have a brave and courageous soul and they can do it. So the angels are saying to the masculines, you can do it. You can do this. You can follow your heart. You can speak your truth. You can do what you know is true. You have to believe. And look at this. I've got angel bumps. You can come into union. So the, and the masculine's mind is union. So if you're wondering what your masculine is thinking about today, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about being in a union with you. They're thinking about being together with you. Even if they aren't communicating with you or they're not with you, this is what's on their mind. It says, you and your twin flame counterpart are taking positive action steps, positive strides towards union. Expect physical contacts and plans for a physical meeting soon. So you're going to come together. This is about coming together in a plan. And this is so powerful because when I shuffled the feminine card, I saw the card that come out and it was the fox. And the message for you today, Divine Feminine, is wait and observe because your masculine is planning. So if you see a fox, that fox is a symbol of a solution coming, a symbol of planning, processing, working it out. So your masculine is saying to you, I'm finding a solution to this problem. And it doesn't mean you and him are a problem. It means the problem is that you're not yet in union. And you have to wait as a divine feminine. What your guidance is today is to wait, to observe, to be patient, to let your masculine move towards you, to let go with grace while I've got angel bumps. There it is again. This is why there's constipation. This is why there may be a headache or a migraine. You've got to let go. Let go with grace. That doesn't mean you move on. It means you release any struggle to heaven. You give it to God with grace. You have faith in your journey. It means you focus on hope and optimism and affirming good things instead of focusing on a negative thing. 
The angels are also asking you to get some exercise. Now, this can be a physical exercise. Maybe go for a walk or a run. Maybe go to the gym. Maybe do something you enjoy like swimming or yoga. But I'm also connecting with this as exercise such as daily habits that we need to get into, like spiritual practices such as daily gratitude, daily breath work, maybe daily meditation, maybe mindful meditation, going out, breathing the air, but daily affirming, daily raising your vibration, doing things that bring power in, because your guardian angels see that exercise will greatly benefit you right now. Frequent exercise will release any stuck energy, there it is again, the stuck energy. It will release the block and it will help you keep fit, healthy and leave you feeling amazing about yourself and they give me that fear. Pardon me, you know, breathing, pardon me. So if you feel you need to burp, maybe you've got excess trapped energy in your esophagus, in your gut that you want to burp out. Maybe you're afraid, you think, oh, I don't want to release that because it's embarrassing or let it out of you. You may feel you need to have a good scream to get it out of you. Get it out. You don't need to apologize. Allow it to flow out. Maybe you've got gas coming out the other end. Don't apologize for it. Allow your body to release it because this is a releasing process. This is what's happening right now in November. There's lots of purging and healing taking place. And your guardian angel is right by your side saying exercise will benefit you. Now that exercise may be physical. Maybe you're already doing physical exercise, but you're not doing enough spiritual exercise like gratitude, breathwork, meditation. So look at your life and think, how can I improve it right now? And also, if you are constipated, if you go for a nice, lovely half an hour walk, you're going to move your body. You know, I was experiencing this the other day and I pulled some cards for myself and the card that come out from Archangel Raphael was light exercise and movement. So I went for a big, long walk and I felt loads better. So feminine's the message for you is heart chakra. So feel it in the heart. Now, isn't this interesting when the masculine is showing this to you here or this angel is showing this to you here? Put your hands on your heart and feel the power of the love. It says, tune into your heart chakra by placing your hands over your heart and ask, what is this that I'm feeling? What is it that I truly desire with all of my heart? And listen, you may want to use some rose quartz or any crystals that connect you with your own heart space to make you feel better. You know, I've got some rose quartz here, maybe wearing rose quartz or having some in your hand or having it where you're working will help you to feel better. But definitely heart chakra activation, maybe a meditation, bringing things in. And that's actually going to bring in a delivery. Look, we've got a delivery coming here. So when you start activating your heart chakra, great things are coming in. That was a delivery then. So I definitely feel the more you open your heart, the more you connect with your heart, the more you put your hands on your heart and say to yourself, what is it that I truly desire with all my heart? And you want to feel at peace. You want to feel free. You want to feel in the flow of things. That's when everything's going to flow in. Now look at this for the journey. I've got angel bumps. We've got coming home. So the energy is heart chakra for the feminine here, which means let go, let God and trust. The masculine is saying he's thinking about or she's thinking about today coming into union with you, being with you in a relationship and having that amazing bond. They're coming home. It says you drew this card as confirmation that you and your twin flame counterpart are coming home towards a reunion. You did it. Blessings. So blessings are on the way. You did it. In other words, be proud of how far you've come. Everything you've been doing is preparing you for something, a reunion where you come back together. And then the union where you stay together. This is what's coming in. And all the signs are showing this to you. The signs are showing you it's happening now. Your guardian angels are always sending you signs. Pay attention to repetitive messages, numbers and symbols. These are all signs they need to guide you that they send you to guide you towards union that you need to see. So right now you're being shown signs that you're moving into union. One of those signs could be the number 10. If you see 10, 10, it's a symbol of power. If you see 12, 12, it's a symbol of stability. If you've seen 11, 11, you've been reminded to have faith. Whatever the sign is, and I definitely see the, the, see the number here, they're giving me the 222 two, two energy because... It's not only a sign that you have the universe around you and you have that support, but your twin is saying to you today, I love you. 
and I'm coming home. We've got surrender to the lessons. Again, this big one about surrender today, letting go, giving it to God. And you've got the beautiful butterfly there as transformation. So another sign you could be seen as a transformation. You know, a butterfly, 555, five, five. you may see a dragonfly, you may even see a full moon or, you know, a half moon as things coming together. But you're being guided to surrender to the lessons, to give it to God, to our faith. And that everything you're going through is for study, experience, growth and learning. So this is showing you you're on the right path because you're learning, you're growing. So I feel this card is showing you that you're on the right path, you're doing the work. They show me this here like a tractor and I feel that the hard work you've been putting in, it's been creating the right road, it's been creating the right way to build things into fruition. So everything is moving forward for you. You guys are coming into union. They are coming to you. This is happening, but you have to have faith in the love and that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.